Hello, good evening, everyone. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Lisette. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm excellent. Thank you. Hello, good Manuel. evening, teacher. Hello, Manuel. Good evening. How are you tonight? I'm fine. Okay, I'm happy you're fine. Roxana, Ricardo, welcome to the class. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today, Ricardo? Uh, I'm fine today. Okay, I'm happy you're fine. <laughs> and you, Roxana, how are you tonight? Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. And Jonathan, good evening. Welcome to the class. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Uh, I'm fine. In this moment, uh, I see the match there. Salvador versus Panama. Ah, okay, you are also watching the match between El Salvador and Panama. Ah, okay, you are going to you are going to watch the second half. Yeah. Ver la segunda mitad. <laughs> todos, yes. todos, todos nerviosos esperando que ahora sí puedan sacar un buen resultado. ¿no? Ojalá. We want to see a lot of ball tonight. Cabal. Now, okay. I'll say, primero Dios. Uh, we have in God, or in God we trust. Confiamos en Dios. Ah, okay. God we trust, but we are going to win that match. Ah, okay. Teacher, I have a question. Uh, what is the question? I will make the, the test after the, the class. That's a problem. Okay, no problem. If you haven't done it yet, si todavía no ha hecho el midterm, después de clase lo puede hacer, ¿verdad? Today is the good day. Hoy es el día, ¿verdad? Today is the day in which you have to finish section one, section two, section three, and the midterm. And tomorrow you can start section number four and also section number five. And if you have any questions, on Monday we are going to discuss that. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, and we said, uh, have you already done the midterm? Ya hizo el examen? Sí, yo de hecho ya finalicé todo. Solo lo único que me falta es generar mi certificado. Okay, excellent then. Congratulations. You have already finished the platform. And in your case, Manuel? I am start again. The midterm. Okay, nice. And what about you, Monica? Ya hizo el examen. Okay. Do you have any questions about the midterm? Tienen alguna pregunta acerca del examen de mismo curso? No questions, no problems. Okay, let's start with this tonight. I'm going to share my screen with you. Please let me know if you can see my screen. Yesterday we were studying the meter exam. Ayer vimos, ¿verdad? Cómo resolver los ejercicios del examen de medio curso del meter. And today we are going to have a feedback of the topic that are evaluating in that exam. So meter exam feedback. Welcome to your class number eight. And let's see exercise number one, affirmative sentences with verb B plus going to. 
en el ejercicio 1 vamos a encontrar este tipo de, de oraciones. De affirmative sentences with, the, with verb B plus or in two. This is the first topic we studied in this course. Do you remember that? It's about many sentences to talk about, to speak about future plans. Este tipo de oraciones nos sirve para hablar acerca de los planes que tenemos en el futuro. And we use verb B plus going to. And we study this a lot. Katie is going to be 15 years old. They are going to have a party on Friday. They are going to sing songs. Can you tell me some examples of these sentences? Plans, plans. What are your plans for the coming weekend? En el ejercicio número uno del examen de medio curso vamos a encontrar este tipo de oraciones. Affirmative sentences para hablar acerca de los planes que tenemos. ¿Cuáles son sus planes para el próximo fin de semana? Then we are going to say, I am going to. Do you remember that structure? ¿Se acuerdan de esa estructura? Yes. Yes, yes. Sir. Yes, okay. Can you tell me some examples? Oh, yeah. Okay, you have to say, okay. I am. Okay, thank you, Eric. Tell me. Uh, going to. Um, verb and complement. Okay, we're going to need the verb. The subject, the verb be, plus going to, plus a complement. Excellent. So can you tell me some examples? Podría decirme algunos ejemplos? I am going to play soccer on Sunday. Okay, excellent. I am going to play soccer. Any other plan? I am going to work uh, all weekend. I am going to work the whole weekend. Okay, excellent. Any other plan? Sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. Any other plan? Nobody has a plan? Let me see. I am going to. Lisette, can you tell me some example? What are you going to do next weekend? I'm going to go to the beach. On excellent Sunday. excellent sentence thank you i am going to go to the beach excellent francisco can you tell me an example i am going to have a party on sunday and sunday okay excellent i am going to have a party on sunday thank you monica can you tell me an example please Hello, Monica. Okay, then let's continue for uh, exercise number two. In the ejercicio número dos, you are going to find interrogative sentences. Siempre, ¿verdad? Acerca de los planes con going to. And let's see these examples. Are you going to work on Sunday? Are we going to study? Are we going to dance at the party? Is Karen going to play soccer? Is Kevin going to do something after work? Then let's see this. Are you going to work on Sunday? What is the answer for this question? This is a yes no question. I am, I am not. Okay, we have two options. Yes, I am, or no, I'm not. No, I am not. So let me ask you this question again. Are you going to work on Sunday? No, I'm not work on Sunday. Okay, excellent. Excellent answer, thank you. The next question is, are we going to study? Are we going to study next weekend? 
Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Good try. Yes, I am study this weekend. Thank you. But look at the question. It's with we. Nosotros, are we going to study? Yes, we are. Okay, then we have to say yes, we are or no, we aren't. We aren't. Yes, we are. No, we, no, no, we aren't. No, we aren't uh, because question is weekend. Okay. Yes, the question is with we. From then, from nombre we are nosotros. Entonces respondemos sí nosotros o no nosotros no. Yes, we are. No, we aren't. What about the next one? No, are no. The... La pregunta dijo week o weekend. No, no es oh, weekend. weekend. Are we going to study uh -huh. on weekend? Because my, my answer uh, fue no, we, we aren't. No, we aren't. Okay, excellent. That's the correct answer. Are they going to dance at the party? So look at the personal yes, pronoun. They are. Okay, thanks a lot. No, yes, they, they are. No, they aren't. No, they are. Thanks a lot. And the next one is Karen going to play soccer? Yes, she is. Yes, yes, she is. yes. And the other option no, is? No, she isn't. Yes, she isn't. No, she isn't. No, she isn't. Yes. Excellent. And the last question, is Kevin going to do something after work? Yes, he is. Yes, yes he is. is. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. Excellent. Thank you. Then in exercise number two, on the midterm exam, you are going to find some questions similar to this one, and you are going to choose the correct answer. Va a encontrar preguntas similares a esta, y usted tiene que escoger la respuesta correcta. In the second exercise. Then we are going to also find this type of question. Question with WH word for information question. Let's see, where are we going to go? How are we going to get there? Who are we going to go with? And when are you going to go? So this type of question asks for information. Let's bring down for information. Let's see the first one. I am going to cook with my friends. Okay, excellent sentence. Excellent sentence. Thank you, Manuel. So let's see, where are we going to go? Let's talk about next weekend. Where are you going to go next weekend? And if you are going to go to a place, you have to say, I am going to go to. I am going to work. I am going to go working. Okay, I am going to go working. Oh, I am going I'm, to. Yes. I am I'm going, going to, to sleep. Go. I am going to I sleep. I am going to sleep. Yes, that is a nice plan and a nice sentence. <laughs> but in this case, it is asking me for a place. Where are you going to go? Then you say, I'm going to go I to am the going, mall. I am going to travel Santa Ana. Okay, I am going to go to Santa Ana. I am going to travel to Santa Ana. Again, how are you going to get there? I am going, going to drive. I am going to drive. Yes, I am going to drive my car. Excellent. I'm going in the bus. I am going to go by bus. Then the next question. I'm going to go in the motorcycle. I'm going to go. And, and then I'm going to ride. I'm going to ride a motorcycle. Who are you going to go with? The next question asks for a person. Quien? Quien va a ir contigo? Who are you going to go with? I am, I am going to with my brother. To my brother. Thanks a lot. I am going to go with my brother. My brother. So when are you going to go? This question asks for time. When? When are you going to go? I am going to go three 
hours, hours, hora. Three hours. Okay. Hours. hours. Hours, yes. Hours. I am going to go going to Saturday. Meaning, and this time you have to answer, I am going to go on Friday. I'm going to go on Wednesday. I'm going to go on the weekend, on Saturday, on Sunday. I'm going to go I'm next going, month. I am going to go Saturday. On Saturday. Muy bien. Then tomorrow. I am going to go tomorrow. Excellent. So first question, where are you going to go? For a place. Where? Donde? Donde vas a ir? How are you going to get there? ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo va a llegar ahí? Who? Who are you going to go with? ¿Quién va a ir contigo? When are you going to go? ¿Cuándo va a ir? So you are going to find this type of question on exercise number three. En el ejercicio número tres, usted va a encontrar estas preguntas and you have to choose the correct answer. You have to choose the correct answer on the midterm, in the midterm exam. Then let's see exercise number four. And exercise number four, you are going to find this. Do you remember this vocabulary? It's about the common illnesses. And to speak about that, you have to use the very have. Like in these examples, I have the flu. She has a fever. And we say I have, we have, you have, and they have. And in the third person, we are going to use she has, he has. And we are going to use here the common illnesses vocabulary that we learn in classes. So I have the flu, she has a fever, he has a baggage. And also we are going to find this expression, I don't feel well. I have a stomach ache. And also the question, how are you? And what's the matter? What's an answer for this question? How are you? ¿Cómo estás? Yes, I'm that, fine. That's the meaning. So you can say, I'm fine. Any other answer? I'm sick. I am sick. Yes, I'm sick. I am terrific. I'm terrific. I'm fantastic. I'm fantastic. I don't feel well. I don't feel well. That is another good answer. And do you remember the answer for what's the matter? What's the matter? What is the problem? What is the problem? What's the matter with you? What is the problem contigo? And then you answer with this. I have the flu. I have a bucket. I have a fever. Headache. I have a headache. Muy bien. And also in this exercise four, you are going to find this type of question. Take a pill, use this cream, don't exercise, use this medicine. So what is the name of this type of sentences? Do you remember? Advices. Advices using imperative sentences. Sentences. So they appeal, use this dream, don't exercise, use this medicine. So you are going to find this in exercise number four, in exercise number four, on the meter. So let's see, they appeal, use this dream, don't exercise, use this medicine. You are going to choose this. Tiene que completar una pequeña conversación utilizando algunas de estas frases. And finally, we have exercise number five, in which you are going to find this reading part, home remedies. Do home remedies really work? What do you think? Do home remedies really work? ¿De verdad funcionan los remedios caseros? What do you think? What is your opinion? Yes. Yes, they do. You say, yes. yes, they do. Nobody say, no, they don't. They don't work. 
I guess in our life we have used some of them. En toda nuestra vida alguna vez habremos usado uno de ellos, alguno de estos remedios caseros. Many people say yes. Try the simple home remedies. Muchas personas dicen sí. They work. Try the simple home remedies. And for a cold, what can you do for a cold? Many people eat hot chicken soup. Other people drink hot water with red pepper, sugar, lemon juice, and milk. For a cold, do you have a bad cold? Drink warm tea or drink some honey. This can make your throat feel better. For a headache, what about a headache? Put a cold cloth on your head or splash your face with cold water. You can also put your hand in hot water. In hot water, this can help. For insomnia, can sleep at night, drink a large glass of warm milk or take a very warm bath. So new vocabulary in this reading. Insomnia. Insomnia is problem to sleep. Yes. And cold. Which other one? Hot. Solo que eh, red pepper no nunca le he echado. <laughs> red pepper? <laughs> no. Es son los chiles rojos. Red no, pepper. no. Nada de chile. <laughs> red pepper is very spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's see. It's weak insomnia. Insomnia? Do you suffer from insomnia? Yeah. Okay, what, the mean, what the mean is splash? What's the meaning of splash? Uh, it's fine. Uh, put a cold cloth on your head or splash your face with cold water. Mm -hmm. eh, significa mojarse, un splash, echarse agua en el rostro, okay, splash. Any other? Sería como salpicarse, salpicarse la cara ¿no? con agua fría. Any other new word? Teacher, large glass is a, a big glass of milk. Yes, it's a big glass of milk, oh. a large glass of warm milk. Or take a very warm bath. Or tome un baño caliente. That can help you with the insomnia. Any other word here that is difficult? So what can we do for a cold? What can we do for a cold? Hot chicken soup. Okay. Hot chicken soup. Drink hot chicken soup. It says eat. Eat hot chicken soup. Or you can drink hot water with red pepper, sugar, lemon juice, and milk. Okay. ¿Cómo creen que se Or... de esa mezcla? No. Uh... Quiero probarla. <laughs> <laughs> Suena explosivo. Okay. Malo para el colon. <laughs> Locura de la gripe, pero la enferma del colon. Nice. <laughs> eh, let's see, for a cold. What can you do for a cold? So we can drink guarantee or taste some honey. Tomar té caliente o tomar miel. This can make your throat feel better. Or honey, Chocolate. Uh, honey and drop lemon. Oh, lemon yes. Drops, drops of lemon. Of lemon juice. Lemon juice and honey. That's work. That's really work. And what about headache? For a headache. Put a cold cloth on your head or splash your face with cold water. And you, you can also put your hands in hot water. This can help. 
¿Será posible? Mm. Bueno. I don't. Water. No, okay. Put your hand on hot water. Another remedy is uh, put um, ice cube in the neck. Oh, mm. I have heard about that. You have to put ice on your neck. I don't know if that works, but I have heard a lot of about that. Okay, then that's the midterm, and that's it. This is the exam in the middle course, and you are going to see this topic. So, common illnesses, imperative sentences, giving advices, also the question, how are you and what's the matter? And you are going to study the going to. Question, information, question. Yes, no question. And affirmative sentences. Y oraciones afirmativas utilizando going to. So, do you have any question about this topic? That is what you are going to find on the midterm. Si todavía tiene problemas, ¿verdad? Con algún ejercicio, please let me know. Escríbanme al WhatsApp, please, and I'm going to help you. But remember that you have to complete that tonight. Tiene que completar eso hoy, ¿verdad? Tonight. Tiene que dejar terminado hasta el midterm. It's important. Es importante para que usted no se atrase. En tu modo, we don't have classes. So you can work on the platform. Mañana no tenemos clase. Entonces usted puede trabajar en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Para que avance. ¿verdad? Y al final no se le acumule el trabajo. Questions? No questions? No. Ok, ya se seca. No question. Ok. So let's start with section four then. El día de hoy también vamos a comenzar la sección número cuatro. Um, debido a que no tiene más preguntas o dudas acerca de la plataforma. So let's start with that tonight. Just give me a second. ¿Hay alguna actividad en casa que no le guste hacer? ¿Hay alguna actividad en casa como cortar el pasto del jardín, lavar los trastes, do the dishes, clean your room, eh, take out the garbage, sacar la basura? ¿Hay alguna actividad que no le guste? O oh, wash your clothes, lavar la ropa, cook, cocinar. Trash the garbage. Ah, okay. Um, take out the garbage. Sacar take la basura. Take out the garbage. Yes. Ah, okay. A Manuel no le gusta sacar la basura. You hate it. Usted odia eso. Eh, yes. Cook. Cook. ¿A alguien lo ponen a cocinar a la fuerza, pa? Yes, I love it. Ah, oh, you love to cook. I okay. you like to cook. Then tonight we're going to learn that, right? Actividades que tenemos que hacer queramos o no verdad por ejemplo clean your house si no limpia su casa en una semana pues van a ser montañas de basura so we have to clean tenemos que limpiar eh, quizás el peor de todos es eh, wash the toilet wash the toilet that's the worst probably that's the worst and a lot of people hate that activity so we are going to learn this topic Tonight, things people have to do. Cosas que las personas tienen que hacer. So we are going to study this, have to do. This is the second part of tonight class. It's on section number four. We are going to start these things people have to do. Let's see, we are going to use this model auxiliary, have to. It's express an obligation, ¿verdad? Tiene que hacerlo. Have to or don't have to. How to use it? ¿Cómo vamos a utilizarlo? Use have to when you think it's necessary, necessary to do something. Vamos a utilizar este auxiliar have to cuando 
creamos, ¿verdad? Que es necesario, o para una cosa que sea necesaria. Or you are obligated to do it. O usted está obligado a hacerlo. Look at this, for example. I have to do my homework. What would happen if you don't do your homework? ¿Qué pasaría si usted no hace su tarea? An email. Well, you will fail the course, right? You will fail the subject or the course. Si usted no hace su tarea, so you have to. Tiene que hacerlo. Uh, you are obligated to do it. Uh, I have to work tomorrow. ¿Qué pasaría si no va a trabajar mañana? No money. No money, right? <laughs> no, final, beer. No, no, al... no pay your salary. Ok. So, al final del mes no le van a pagar completo. ¿verdad? Le van a faltar unos 40 dólares, 50 dólares. I don't know. But... Then it's an obligation. Work. I have to work tomorrow. Tiene que. She has to go to the dentist. Ella debe. Tiene que ir al dentista. So, have to express an obligation. Algo que es necesario hacer. Then, let's see, this is the structure. Subject plus have to plus a verb. This is easy. Un sujeto. Auxiliary have to. And the bird. So I have to clean my house. I have to cook. I have to take out the trash. I have to feed the pet. Tengo que alimentar a la mascota. Y en las terceras personas, we are going to use has to. He has to plus the bird. She has to plus the bird. So let's see this example. She has to go to the dentist. And the other example is, he has to clean the house. Él tiene que limpiar la casa. It's an obligation. Ahora, si hay algo que... I have, I have to iron and wash. I have to do the laundry. Or I have to wash the clothes. What I is that? Wash, clean... Dress. Ah, then I have to wash my clothes. Yo tengo que lavar mi ropa. Si es en la lavadora, sería I have to do the laundry. I have to do the laundry. Hand. And let's see. Let's see the other part of this. We don't have to. Have to use it, don't have to. In negative sentences, it means that it is not necessary to do it. In una oración negativa, si encontramos, por ejemplo, I don't have to, significa que no es necesario hacer eso. Let's see this, I don't have to go to school on Saturday. No tengo, ¿verdad? No es necesario que vaya a la escuela los domingos. So I don't have to go to school on Saturday. They don't have to dance. No es una obligación, ¿verdad? No es necesario. Ellos no tienen que bailar. She doesn't have to go now. Ella no tiene que irse ahora. He has to clean the house. Él tiene que limpiar la casa. I'm sorry. Aquí era doesn't. He doesn't have to clean the house. No tiene que limpiar la casa. So in this case, we're going to use a subject. Don't have to. plus a verb. En terceras personas siempre doesn't. Como en el presente simple. He doesn't has to. It have to. Let me, let me fix this. If no, you are going to get confused at this part. I'm sorry for this mistake. So it says. He doesn't. No existe la necesidad. Entonces decimos he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to clean the house. And. She doesn't have to. We are going to do the following example here. Look at these activities. Top eight things people okay. hate to do. Es el top de las ocho cosas que las personas odian hacer. Um, I don't know where this information uh, was taken. But it says the top eight things people hate to do. 
Let's see if it is true. And do you hate stand in a line? Ori, usted está en una fila? Yes. Yes? Yes. Uh, do you hate do laundry? No. 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 Do you hate travel to work? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Okay. And mostly if you go to work by bus, so it's difficult. And go to meetings with your boss and your co-workers? Yes. No. 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 In the world, yes. Yes. Okay. Exercise. Do you hate no. exercise? No. no. I like exercise. I Where like. Work in the yard. Yes. Yeah. No. <laughs> No, tengo no, no hate. No tengo no, hate. No, no tiene patio, ok. Se salva entonces. Eh, clean the house. Clean the house. No. Yes. No. <laughs> uh, open the mail. I don't know why this is here. But mm. Open the mail. No, no. Don't, don't open. No, ok. ¿Y cuáles de estas actividades tiene que hacer? You say have to. You say I have to. Travel to work. I have to travel. Have to in line to laundry. I have to go to, to laundry, laundry, laundry. Clean the house. Exercise. I have clean work in the yard. Clean the I house. I do clean the house. Okay, Kelly. I have to clean the house. I have to stand in line. Everything. I have to do the laundry. I have to travel to work. I have to go to meetings. I have to exercise. Okay. I, I have to do exercise. I have to do work in the yard. I have to work in the yard, okay. Excellent, then let's see some another example. Let's look at this chart. Many sentences explaining what Lisa and Tom have to do or don't have to do. So, for example, make a cake. Lisa, yes. Tom, no. Then the sentence is, Lisa has to make a cake. In the other sentence, Tom doesn't have to make, make a, a cake. cake. So, who wants to say the second one? Do the homework. Yes. Katie, do you want? Me yes. teacher, Lisa uh, does make does to do make a cake. Okay, excellent. Try so it says Lisa has to do. Ah, the first one you say Lisa has to make a cake. Lisa has to make a cake. What about Tom? Tom. Yeah. Doesn't make a cake. Tom doesn't have to. Tom doesn't have to make a cake. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Good try. So the first one is Lisa has to make a cake. Tom doesn't have to make a cake. No tiene que hacer un pastel. Let's see, do the homework. Do the homework. ¿Cómo sería la oración? Lisa does, Lisa, how to do the homework? And Tom has to do the homework. Excellent, thanks a lot. So the second one is Lisa has to. Lisa has to do the homework. Tom has to do the homework. Ambos tienen que hacer tareas. Wash the car. Wash the car. Lisa, no. Tom, yes. ¿Cómo sería la oración? Lisa. Lisa has to. Have to... De... <laughs> Adelante. <laughs> Heidi. Go, no, Heidi, go. <laughs> Lisa has to do wash. 
Lisa has done not to do has not, perdón, wash the car. We'll try, thanks a lot, but there are some mistakes in that sentence. So, uh, Manuel, can you try? Uh, okay. Um, Lisa doesn't have to wash the car. Excellent. Lisa no tiene que hacer esa actividad. Pero entonces, um, sería Tom, Tom has to wash the car. Okay. Those are the correct answers. Lisa doesn't have to wash the car. And Tom has to. Has has to. Tom has to wash the car. So Tom has to wash the car. Tiene la obligación, ¿verdad? Tiene que hacerlo. What about Walt the dog? Lisa has to walk the dog. Excellent sentence. Lisa has to walk the dog. And Tom? Tom has not walk the dog. Tom does. Okay, Tom doesn't have to. Tom doesn't have to walk the dog. In the next one, study history. Study history. En el caso de Lisa, ¿tiene o no tiene que estudiar historia? Lisa doesn't. Lisa doesn't have to study history. Thanks a lot. That's the correct sentence. Lisa doesn't have to study history. En Tom. ¿Tiene la obligación o no tiene la obligación? Yes. Yes. Entonces la oración sería Tom. Tom to have to study history. Tom has to study history. Then, in this way, we are going to do this example. So, Lisa doesn't have to Lisa, set the table. Lisa and Tom don't have to do set the table. Okay, we can say in that way too. Both Lisa and Tom don't have to set the table. And cut the grass. Cut the grass. Cortar el pasto. So, Lisa doesn't have to cut the grass. Tom has to cut the grass. Tidy the bedroom. Ordenar la cama. Oh, sorry, limpiar el dormitorio. Tidy the bedroom. Listen, Tom <coughs> has to tidy the bedroom. In this case, have. Have. have, have. Yes. Lisa and Tom have to tidy the bedroom. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. You did a great job in this part. Thanks a lot. Now, look at this. Uh, Read these activities and tell me if you have to do or you don't have to do. Then, number one, take out the garbage, clean the toilet, wash the dishes, cut the grass, wear a uniform at work, feed the pets, clean your bedroom, eat fruit and vegetables, take the bus to work, work on weekends. So tell me the sentence. Let's see, for example, number one, I have, I have to take out the garbage or I don't have to take out the garbage. I have to take out the garbage and I have to clean the toilet every day. Every day, okay. I have work on weekends. I have to work on weekends. I have to work on weekend things. I have to wash the dishes today. I have to wash the dishes today. Tonight? You are still are, are you going to wash the dishes? Uh, no, siempre. I start with, siempre, every day. Ah, okay. <laughs> 
man. Antes de clases le toca lavar los trastes. Wash the dishes. No, I have to wash the dishes. Uh, what about this one? Wear a uniform. I, yes, have, to I have to every day. I have to wear a uniform every day. I have to wear a uniform in the cook, in the kitchen. I have to wear a uniform in the kitchen. And what about feed the pets? ¿Quién tiene esa obligación? I have to feed the pets. Heidi, with the cat. I have to feed the pets. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I have to feed the pets. The pets. Tengo que alimentar a las mascotas. What about this one? Eat fruit and vegetables. I have two or I don't have two? Yes, I have to eat fruit, fruit and, and vegetables. vegetables. I have to take the bus to work. Okay. I, I have, have to clean to my bedroom. Okay. I have to clean my bedroom. Excellent. What about this one? Let's see. Cut the grass. Cortar el paso. El pasto, perdón. Cortar el pasto. Cut the grass. Yes, I have. I have to cut the grass. Yeah. Ahora díganme cuáles de estas no son obligaciones para ustedes. I don't have to. I don't have to, to do work on weekends. I don't have to work on weekends. Excellent sentence. Thank you. Always. I don't have to work on weekends. I always have to work on weekends. I don't have to feel the pets. I don't, I don't have, have to feed the pets. I don't Tell have me. to cut the grass. I don't have to cut the grass. Any other sentence? Practice, practice. Tell me your sentences. I don't have to wear a uniform. Goal of the national team. This is Eric. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't have to. Can you please repeat your sentence? I don't have to take the bus to work. Okay, excellent. I don't have to take the bus to work. Any example, I have to Christmas work on weekends. I don't have to. Can you please repeat In your sentence? Navidad trabajo. O sea, por decir en diciembre trabajo los fines de semana, o sea, no descanso ningún día. Christmas work on the weekends or weekends of December is correct, teacher? Okay. I, eh, I todas las fechas to festivas, todas las fechas festivas durante el año eh, trabajamos los fines de semana. Um, okay, then on um, holidays I have to work. En los días festivos tengo que trabajar. On holidays, I have to work. I don't have to take the bus to work. I don't have to take the bus to work. Okay. You drive a car or you ride a motorcycle? A motorcycle. Nice. Then let's see the next exercise here. I have another exercise for you. Uh, but today is today is holiday, so I don't have to work. Who wants to read the first one? Who wants to read the first one? Hey, teacher. Thank you, Manuel. Today is holiday. I don't do. I don't have to work. Thanks a lot. The second one. Who wants to read the second one? I have a test tomorrow. I have to study. Okay. Excellent. Number three, please. She has a toothbrush. She has to go to the dentist. Thanks a lot. The next one. Patrick can take the school bus. He doesn't have to drive to school. Excellent. Thanks a lot. And the last one. Who wants to be the last one? They will know they don't have to. Thanks a lot. So let's see number one, and today is a holiday. Oh, hoy es un día festivo, so I don't have to work. No tengo que trabajar. Excepto Heidi, ¿verdad? Que todos los días festivos le toca trabajar. I'm sorry. 
Yes, thank you. <laughs> I have a test tomorrow. Tengo un examen mañana. Entonces estoy obligado. I have to study. She has a toothache. Ella tiene un dolor de dientes o de muelas. She has to go to the dentist. Ella tiene que ir al dentista. Patrick can take the school bus. Patrick can take the school bus. He doesn't have to drive to school. Puede tomar el bus escolar. Él no tiene, ¿verdad? No tiene la obligación o no es necesario que conduzca hasta la escuela. They feel well now. Ellos se sienten bien en este momento. O ya se sienten bien. They don't have to see a doctor. Ellos no tienen que ir a ver a un doctor. They don't have to. No es necesario. So let's see this small conversation. And the first one, what club do you have to wear for your new job? I don't have to wear a suit and tie, but I have to wear a white shirt and I don't have to wear jeans. So look at this. Four, what clothes do you have to wear for your new job? ¿Qué ropa tienes que usar para tu trabajo nuevo? I don't have to wear a suit and a tight. No tengo que utilizar un traje y una corbata. But I have to wear a white shirt. And I don't have to wear jeans. I don't have to wear jeans. That is the first conversation. The next one. You don't have to drive down this road. Tú no tienes que conducir ¿verdad? en esta calle. It's for buses only. Es solo para buses. Oh, sorry. Lo siento. Citrans. Ah, ya, yeah, like the Citrans. <laughs> right. Antes. Oh, Eso fue antes. Antes. <laughs> yes. You don't have to drive Before. down this road. Okay, but now you can. Now you can drive right? yes. that road. So, two volunteers to practice the first conversation, please. Two volunteers to practice this small conversation. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Manuel what and Katie. What clothes do you have okay. to you wear for your new job? I don't have to wear a suit and a tie, but I have to wear a white shirt and I don't have to wear jeans. Okay. Thanks a lot. Very good job. And for the second one, two volunteers, please. That's an easy one. You don't have to drive down this road. It's for buses only. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, lo siento. Another two volunteers to practice the first conversation. Me. Thank you, Kelly. What clothes do you have to wear for your new job? I don't have to wear a suit and a tie, but I have to wear a white shirt and I don't have to wear jeans. Things are not. So do you have this rule of your work? Tienen estas reglas en su trabajo? No jeans. You don't have to no. wear jeans. No. You have no. to wear no. a white shirt. Or oh, you have to wear my, a suit and a tie. In my work, uh, don't have to dress. Or no. falda, it's shirt. Skirt, skirt. skirt. And skirt. In my work, jeans. Okay, you don't have to wear jeans. You don't have to wear skirts. In my job, wear uni uniform. Ah, you have to wear a uniform. It's my uniform, jeans. Okay, um, you don't have to wear jeans after work. In my job, I have to wear a white jacket. The correct name is Filipina. And what do you say, gorro? A cap, a cap. A cap, and use a cap. Okay. 
Interesting. Interesting to know that. Hablando de uniforme, no he lavado el mío for tomorrow. I hope it gets dry. Espero que se me seque. So let's end the presentation. This is the end. Thanks a lot. Do you have any question about how to use have to or don't have to? Questions? Questions? No question, please. Uh, teacher, uh, you use have to and I, you, we, and they. Yes. And he, she uh, is has Hush. to uh, plus verb. Yes, we're going to use uh, have to in those ways. In the negative form, uh, in vote is don't have to. Yes? Um, no, let's see. Uh, don't and doesn't. So you say, I don't have to. And we're going to use this with I, with you. We and they. We and they. I don't have to. You don't have to. They don't have to. We don't have to. En las terceras personas vamos a utilizar doesn't. He, she, and also it doesn't have to. He, she, and it utilizamos doesn't have to. ¿Por qué have y no has? Uh, because the third person is in the auxiliary doesn't. La tercera persona lo absorbe el auxiliar. En la, en la, cuando lo hacemos negativo, das acá. Entonces el verbo va en infinity form. Have to. That's why. Esa es la razón. Any other question? En ese caso, si, si no fuera así, sería das, has, ¿verdad? Si no me equivoco. Eh, en una oración afirmativa sería she has. She has to clean the house, por ejemplo. Es una oración afirmativa. Ahí sí va has. She has to clean the house. Si es él, he has to wash the car. She has to wash the car. Sorry, he was. Si es la oración negativa, entonces lleva doesn't. She doesn't have to clean the house. Thanks, teacher. She doesn't. Thank you. He doesn't have to. Él no tiene que limpiar el carro. He doesn't have to clean. Wash, sorry. Okay, for the following activity, tell me the sentence. I have to or I don't have to. Let's see. Wash the dog. I have to or I don't have to. Teacher. Yes. She doesn't have to clean house or he, perdón, and she do not has to clean the house. Lo podemos usar separado. Let's see, for example, for example, she does not uh, clean the house. She does not have to, sorry. She does not have to clean the house. Aquí sería sin contracción, pero no podemos utilizarlo así. Do not, you say. She do not. Siempre tiene que ser en tercera persona. She does not have to clean the house. Okay, sí, que se tenía, esa, tenía esa duda porque recordaba que en alguna ocasión me habían dicho que eh, el does, la contracción, eh, hacía que el verbo se se utilizara normal, digamos, que en este caso how, pero si se ocupaba por separado, 
Entonces teníamos que ocupar el, el verbo en modo de third person, que era has. Recordaba eso, pero probablemente lo había comprendido mal. Yes, we can no do that. No podemos hacer eso, right? Teacher, sí. eh, eh, when, when, you, when you use does not have is a formal form. It's correct? Yes, this is formal. When you are writing a formal document, you have to write this in this way. Sin contracción, ¿verdad? Right? Yes. The contraction is the, is the use in the classes. That the doesn't. Doesn't, yes. That is the contraction. Okay. Okay, do you have any other question? Any other doubt? No, teacher. No more question? No more okay. question. ¿Cómo va la selecta? Uno a cero, ¿cuánto vamos? <laughs> va a perder de todas formas. Va a perder de todas formas. No, 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 no diga forma. eso. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Espero <laughs> que no. Bueno. Um, teacher, been, how do you yes. say juegan, juegan? Juegan como, juegan como nunca y pierden como siempre. Um, they play as... What is that work? Uh, they play live. Um, let me see. ¿Cómo sería ese juego de palabras? Juegan como nunca, pierden como siempre. Okay. They play as never they do and they always lost. I'm going, that is kind of difficult. That's ese juego de palabras. But I'm going to investigate that. That's uh, tomorrow. I'm going to tell you. So thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Uh, mm, oh no! See you on Monday. See you on Monday. See you on Monday. Uh, rest, okay, rest a lot. Uh, ya pueden ir a ver el segundo tiempo de la selecta tranquilos y después resuelven los ejercicios que nos hagan falta y el midterm. No sé si es Yes. Yes, oh, please. Okay. <laughs> okay, then see you on Monday. Bye bye. 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 Bye.